Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. There's a terrible throw. One out of 10. I'll rate myself. One out of 10. Metal Complex here. And today I've got a short little unboxing video to share with you guys. So this is a box that was sent to me by Vosteed. And as you can see, I've already partially opened it because I didn't understand. I thought... They had asked me, did you receive the Christmas gift that we sent you? I thought it was something else that I had just unboxed. And I said, yes. Apparently not. I realized, no, this is it. I should have known by the tape here that says Merry Christmas on it. So we're about to find out what Vosteed sent me for uh, Christmas. Thanks to Vosteed for sending this in. Obviously, whatever's in here, if it's something I can link, I'll link it right down below. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. And please, make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. So there's a bunch of... Um, there's a bunch of stuff in here. There's a, some sort of penguin thing. There's definitely a knife. There's a zipper pouch. There's holy coasters. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's this. Whatever this is, it's kind of heavy. Oh man, there's there's a, another napkin of some sort. Okay. And some stickers. All right. Well, let's see what all we've got here. Oh, this is a, like a tote. A Vosti tote. Perfect for when I'm... I guess I'll just fill those with knives and carry them around. Thank you very much. Obviously, some of this stuff, you know, it will make for a great giveaway item. Um, this appears to be a, it, I don't know if it's just like a big placemat. Stay sharp. Stay. <laughs> I, don't know what, I don't know what that word is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I don't know what that word is. I do like the coaster. Cool. All right. We got a zipper pouch here. Actually, um, I w absolutely will find a use for this. I have three similar zipper pouches that I have uh, completely filled up with things that just need to stay in a pouch, but still within arm's reach. So that's very cool. Now, this here, it, it was a little heavier than I would have expected for the size of the pouch. Is it a... Is this like a little worry stone? Is it a titanium or aluminum worry stone? That's actually kind of neat. I uh, well, let's first check to see if it's magnetic, um, and then I'll weigh it for you guys. It's okay, so it's not magnetic, so it's definitely either titanium or aluminum. My money is on titanium, but I have a hard time guessing when it comes to um, weight between the two. Obviously, I've never held an object that's exactly this geometric shape. Look at those little key ring hole there. Maybe it's aluminum. I don't know. It's hard. It's honestly kind of hard to tell. Maybe. Here's the weight. It weighs 1.38 ounces. So if you are a, a weight wizard and you are able to tell just by looking at the weight and the dimensions of the object, then you can tell me what you think that it is. Honestly, I think that's kind of neat. Now, let's get in here and see what we've got. We do have to cut this open. Let's see what we've got for the knife. Not a super heavy box. Um, so we have that and we have the pouch. Okay. Vosteed Sport. All right. What is in the pouch? It's a little budget Vosteed. Let's take a look here and see what we've got. Okay. Little rear flip. Oh, that's kind of, I got to be honest with you, that's kind of nice right there. That is an interesting shape and way to do the flipper tab. Obviously, we have a front flipper. That works okay. Yeah, that works all right. And then we have this rear flipper thing. And then we have the thumb studs. Honestly, I think the flipper tab works the best. But uh, yeah, okay. And then we have 14C28N. And what's the name of this knife? Does it say? Well, either way, it'll be linked down in the description so you guys can check it out if you want to. But yeah, okay. Let's get a measurement real quick. This is obviously going to be a pretty short video. Measurement here. Oh, it's ambidextrous too. So there you go, lefties. You can enjoy it. Overall length is coming in at about six and an eighth. Okay. Blade length, 2.8. No, I'm sorry. 2.65. Cutting edge is about two and a half. If you like smaller knives, I'm going to guess this is a pretty inexpensive knife. It does have 14C28N on it, so I wouldn't expect it to be like at 30 bucks or anything like that. But um, yeah, it looks pretty good. Why did you guys put the put the hole or the uh, the fastener right there above the pocket clip? Oh, it's not really that big of a deal, but still, 
I wish that they wouldn't do that. I wish that you would come back here. Interesting little place for the uh, lanyard hole back here, right? Just a lanyard bar. All uh, translucent G10, um, which some people like, some people don't. I would say this is the less sickly color of translucent G10. It's more green and less yellow. The, the yellowy stuff is what bothers me usually. Um, all right, real quick, I think just because this is technically a knife unboxing and I like to do some size comparisons with that. Let's put it up against some other similar knives. So up against the, uh, almost said Spyderco, the Civivi uh, Elementum. How about like the Ontario Rat Model 2? This is definitely on the smaller side, absolutely. Uh, let's put it up against the CJRB Pyrite. There we go. Let's put it up against, should we do the Demco 8020.5? Here we go. Here's one in G10. Uh, what else do I have that's on the smaller side? I think maybe we'll just do a couple more. So here's the Hulk, uh, Benchmade Bug Out and the Hogue Deca. Absolutely 100% on the smaller side. I think we should probably also just go ahead and weigh it. We might as well, right? Some people, you know, people always tell me like, I really just watch your videos for specs and then I move on. And I just want you guys to know, I think that's perfectly okay. There's a lot of stuff in my videos that just isn't for everybody. And while, you know, I'm sure a lot of people would say, well, why don't you start catering it more towards everyone? I'll tell you why. It's because that's not really what I want to do. What I like to do on this channel is just sort of talk uh, about, you know, what I consider to be the interesting talking points. Uh, now, you know, what you're watching now is different than a full review. It's just an unboxing. But in a full review, I like to talk about everything that I like to talk about. And then the people who come and watch my content can kind of pick apart the, uh, the parts of the upload that they want to watch. And then they can skip over the stuff that they don't want to watch, right? For example, if you've made it this far in the unboxing and you're thinking to yourself, I don't know why he extends these unboxings out and puts all this stuff in here. I really just like want to see what the knife is and then I move on. I think that's perfectly fine. In fact, I think that's what at least half of all people watching my unboxing content do, right? I think the other half has no idea that it's just an unboxing and thinks that reviews and unboxings are the same things. But no matter how many times I say it, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't, <laughs> that's just, that's just what people get from it. Some people like to sit around and get specs and then not watch the review. Some people like to watch the entire unboxing and watch the entire review. But the best thing I can do is not change the way that I do things and sort of let people know over time. It's hard to let everybody know how this channel operates. But over time, I think people kind of understand. And then they get to choose how they want to digest the content. But I can tell you right now, the last thing that I will do is change the way that this channel works. So if you're ever wondering, there you go. The weight on this knife... People waiting for the weight. Okay, great. Shut up. Give us the weight. 2.54 ounces is what this weighs. So, obviously not a super duper heavy knife. As long as they put a reasonable price tag on this, I think it'll be good to go. Vossi, thank you for the wonderful Christmas gift. I'm going to be honest with you. I'll probably give almost all of it away. I mean, I'm, I'm probably, truthfully, I'm probably going to keep this. I, I imagine Vossi intended for me to give this stuff away. But I kind of want to keep the worry stone and I kind of want to keep the pouch. But... Uh, either way, I'll let some other people partake in what Vosteed has, has uh, given for free today. So thank you very much to Vosteed. Make sure you guys check out uh, the knife down in the description. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.